Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Let's see if we can fix that light glare there, okay. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. This time, I promise I'll be able to see the chat a little bit better. Goodness, everybody's already here. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Red Lorraine. Lady Galaxia. Star Dancer. Marie. Oh my goodness, I can't say all the names. There's a welcome to everybody. So today, uh, by popular demand, <laughs> I can definitely say popular demand, is our uh, shrine to Hakate. She won in the polling by a wide, wide, wide margin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you my materials. I'm also recording for a video, so this will be edited down and turned into a video for some time in the future. So this is just a frame, uh, like an inexpensive frame. So I'm going to keep these just in case at some point I need a piece of acrylic or a piece of wood for some other shrine project. Thanks for being coming a patron. I have a badass statue of Hakate. Uh oh, statue off. We have to have a statue off. Maybe we have the same one. focus here camera the camera hates me it's kind of like me versus the camera just two pupper faces down here with their little skulls so this is um gosh I don't have a link to it but I think it's called Del Mortico They're on Etsy. It's uh, resin, so it's really light. It looks like it's metallic, and you can get it in metallic or stone finishes. So this is what I'm going to be using. This is a, um, a two paint um, set, I guess you would say. They tell you to put the the dark on first and then put the white over it to make it look like barn wood so we're not going to use the white we're just going to use the dark I forgot to bring my um, wood stain today so this is my this is my way of having wood stain <laughs> we're not going to put her in the shrine she's just on my uh, working altar all the time Somebody said they had a badass statue, so of course I, I felt like challenge accepted. I wanted to bring out my badass statue. But she's not going in this shrine. We're going to use an image, which I wanted to link to the artist, but I couldn't figure out who it was. Sometimes pictures are shared over and over and over again on the internet, and they, and I, they lose... Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I think I, I wanted, these are the things that hold the picture in, and I want to pull those off real fast. I have a tool. Let's work So these are like a 10 pack of these frames for, um, I have a link to them below. They're in, kind of an inexpensive. I'm using the back of the frame as the front, by the way, because I like the little beveled edge look. This is the front of the frame. And this has the little dot, so you would put the stand so the frame would stand up. And, but I've removed those and I'm just gonna cover them up with decorations. brown by the time I'm done with this. I don't have to get this perfect because I'm also going to go in with some acrylic paint and some doodads. So as long as we get coverage, it doesn't have to be perfect. All of my projects are kind of like that. They're more um, folky, <laughs> folky looking. Sounds like we have a sculptor in the group who've been sculpting your goddess. I considered trying to sculpt something today. I couldn't find any dogs that I, um, little figurines of dogs that I liked. So I was thinking about sculpting them, but I thought about trying to do that on stream and not knowing how to do it, and I just gave up. I ended up buying little toy dogs. I thought that could really end up being a problem. <laughs> And for those of you who were here for the Persephone Shrine, we will not be spending an hour trying to cut out a picture of an individual. So I'm, I'm learning as I go. Every time I do a live stream, I learn a new thing either to do or not to do. I, I am going to have to paint the toy dogs because one is a wolf, one is a fox, and one is a hyena. I couldn't actually find the dogs I wanted. Yeah, because I, I didn't have... Um, I don't know. The, all the dog toys that I found, they looked like cartoons rather than real. So that was my problem. You can find a lot of cartoony looking dogs. So I'm just using a piece of um, parchment paper as my, um, as my covering here. And then when I move this away, I'll just move it on the paper.
release the poodles. Hey, the poodles are no joke. Well, I guess toy poodles. I guess you said toy poodles. So, speaking of, I noticed Red Lorraine is Scarlet Nymph is here, and um, we always use her glitter watercolors for our holiday card videos. And so I will be painting the Samhain greeting cards this week. And I haven't decided what the design is going to look like, so if you guys have any um, suggestions on what the greeting card should look like, let me know. Let me know in chat. It's not a vote though. If I just see one cool idea, it could win. All right, we have one, one thing painted. Let's move on. Can you guys hear the um, music okay? Is there, can you guys hear background music at all? That's a good question. I realized later on that in the last stream I had it so low that it wasn't even very audible on on my stream last time. Day of the Dead. This will be able to be either hung up on the wall or put on a tabletop. I'm going to put it on a tabletop. You can hear the background music. Yes, yes, I love it. Yes, it's a good level. Okay, great. I'm always wondering because I can't hear what you hear. I can only hear the level I have my headphones set to. <laughs> still seen maybe a, a like a cute black cat sitting on top of a pumpkin that's always a cute theme Ooh, a graveyard design that would work with a lot of the scarlet nymph paints the um the color scheme of the palette is got some blue grays and some well, black and some kind of shimmer gray colors and like a midnight blue graveyard might work. It's not the, uh, the happiest greeting to send, but it, it, is, it is a greeting. Ravens, ooh, yeah. Love me some ravens. Okay, so maybe I just do multiple cards like I did on Ostara. I did three a version, three versions of cards because I couldn't pick one. The problem is, is a video like that takes so long to edit. You guys, I'm not even joking. It takes hours and hours and hours. I think it's worth it. I think long form content, I prefer, well, I, I don't know. Oh, and I wanted to mention that I did drill a hole on the back here before I started. So we can stick some lights in. I haven't quite figured out how the lights are going to work, but I think we'll 
Just figure it out together. Man, I like the graveyard. Maybe we can put the graveyard and the ravens together and we can put the pumpkin and the black cat together and we can have two, one more dramatic and one more cutie. Dwayne Smith, post some pictures of your statues on your Instagram and tag it with um, hashtag magical crafting, and then I will be able to see it. Did you guys see that Instagram put out new? Uh, suggestions on how to post they say use three to five hashtags instead of 30 that's a new thing I just found out about radiant life says I know what you mean I started posting videos and the editing is very time-consuming the editing is one of my favorite things to do if you don't like editing you can't be a youtuber if you don't find it creative and fun to do and you hate it, you won't be you won't stay a YouTuber for long. <laughs> I'm on Twitter for about a few minutes every day, not very much. Okay. So we have these Painted? Oh, yeah, almost real good job. Good job. Painted? Question mark? No. Nope. Okay. There we go. Now we have it painted. These corners are really not going to show because I'm covering up this whole back part paper. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. The sides are going to show. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. So, Dwayne. Dwayne. Not yet. Twitter Twitter's not really uh, art sharing. Well, as much as Instagram. I guess you can put anything on Twitter. But I just got a Twitter account. You guys can follow me if you want. But I, I have to be honest and tell you that I'm not really there very often. Okay, so it's going to be... It's going to be like that and then like that once it dries. Should I do the back of this? Yes, I should. Don't, don't be lazy. I do like the editing process, but when I'm putting two to three videos out a week, um, it can become the, the, the roadblock I, I start to procrastinate because I think of the hours of footage I have that was one reason I started live streaming because I thought you know what one day or two days a month I can get a video out it's not really a video but I mean it's a video after it's a live stream and it doesn't have to be edited. I do use the footage later and edit it into a video, but there's not the, the pressure. It's just a video for posting sometime in the future. Next year, maybe you'll see this shrine video come out on my channel. <laughs> And it'll be a nice short 10 minutes. Okay. We're going to have a set change. <laughs> we're going to switch from this to all the little hoo-hahs and doodads that we're going to put on it. So we take this away. I'll be right back.
I got my dinner in the sacred glass of wine. Okay. It's doodad time, Jill. Oh, it's, let me tell you, I got some doodads. I got two bags of doodads. Is that an old fashioned um, phrase? I use it all the time, but um, I think it originally was my, gran my grandmother's phrase. I don't know, um, Red Lorraine, if you can post a link or not. Now, if this was Twitch, I would say no because they don't allow links. I assume YouTube is the same. Only blue name mods can post links in live chat. There you go. So no, you cannot post a link. And we're going to leave it that way. It's a, it's like a parchment paper that you bake on. We're just trying to clean off the, the brown. I don't know. That's as good as we're gonna do. So, how fun are these? These are do the doodads for sure. Uh, I did link to this, but I think it's really old. Most everything I have is old. is kind of a liminal goddess. She is a goddess of crossroads, doorways, entrances, the entrance to the underworld later on, and she became associated with. So keys are um, one of the things that she is shown holding in some of the ancient Greek and Roman. So I have these four keys and these four key holes. And who's it's and what's it galore? I'm not going to sing, but I do get the reference. <laughs> Not sure if I'm going to keep this on my altar. I do have my big Hecate um, statue with her ravens, and I don't know that I would put another one, but I might actually do it like a special altar in the for the, the winter months. So I've got these little guys. These are for sure going to go on. Probably not these. These don't look very Greek. Thank you for the compliment on my nails. I just did them right before the stream, so they're super long. I probably should have cut them a little shorter. So I don't think I'm going to use these. I do kind of like these. I might want to use one of these or one of these. This came in a set of four. Little corner bits. Four of these rondelles. So maybe, maybe these guys. These frames are for later projects, later, later shrine projects, because I think I'm going to um, do a, a 12 shrine series so all this stuff will get used in future and then I have some of these things that kind of look a little more 
change it. This kind of looks gothic and I have not been able to find these anymore. These are old um, scrapbooking stick, they stick on to scrapbook pages, but I don't think they're being made anymore. So unfortunately I can't give a, I can't give a link to them. These are a bit too gothic. These are fun. They look like bronze. This is fun. I like these. And there's some corners too. See, I can tell why they didn't keep making them. These are really heavy and I cannot imagine that they did well on scrapbooking pages. Like hinges and stuff. I think, um, some of the stuff I'll use later, but what about these? Do you like, I just like the wood or the These are my top pen. The gothic one I think would be for a different, a different deity though. I don't feel like an ancient Greek goddess. In fact, it's funny to see the keys that, that she's holding and in, in the statuary of her because they don't look like what we think of as a key. Keys have changed. Lady Galaxia, you never have to grow out of a goth face. That can just be who you are. It doesn't have to be a face at all. Yeah, I kind of like this. They feel great to me, but also I think these... Yeah, I want to I wanna do some meditation videos. I, I do. Everybody asks me to. Just waving my hands here. Let's look at the image we're going to use. Maybe I'll paint these real fast because I think I'm going to use. is a little too large for this job, but we'll make it work. a couple weeks before putting these on because trying to keep them trying to keep them on like this all the time yeah really it kind of really messes Mr. McCulloch
Okay, let's call that. Good enough. We'll call that good enough. All right, here's our doodads. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I can't tell you who the artist is. I wasn't able to find out online. I did a search, but it's been reshared too many times. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. And I just printed this out the exact size of the, of the box. So we're just going to cut it out right along the edges. We're going to get the uh, scissor ASMR. That's so weird. Somebody put hearts in chat and I got a note that it was held for review. All it was was heart emojis. <laughs> I'm like, why is that? Why was that flagged? I don't know. I don't have a mod, so you guys, if anything goes wonky in chat, my apologies. I will do the best I can. Okay, so we have our doodads and we have our image. And we have these little guys. Which is a string of lights. Like a battery string of lights. So those are also going to go inside. Haven't quite figured that out yet, but we have all of our things. And then um, these are the other doodads. Hopefully the there we go. Camera will focus. So this is some sticks. And then here's our dogs. Which is a wolf. <laughs> I couldn't find dogs, you guys, so I did the best I could. A hyena. And a fox. So whichever two look the best once I paint them, that's what we're going to use for our puppers. <laughs> And then I have a broken necklace that I'm going to maybe use this snake charm, <laughs> I've decided. And then I thought this was kind of cool. This is another broken piece of jewelry. I don't know. I just like it. So it's a thought. And then we have a few sticks. Oh, I'm kind of envisioning a forest scene inside the box. Like this in the background and then 
some like f winter forest. I'm new to deities. What does Hecate represent? Oh, down through the ages, a lot of different things. And she's an ancient goddess that's been kind of changed. Her representations have changed down through time. I did link um, in the description box below my my Hecate video. So you might want to, it's a five minute video, but it might be worth a watch. But we've got, her symbols are dogs, keys, snakes, um, knives. She represents the crossroads, liminal spaces, entrances, travel ways, um, magic, herbalism. Um, there's kind of a chthonic or a psychopomp aspect to her, maybe keeping the keys to the underworld. Thank you so much for the super chat, Sarah. Your watercolors are my favorite. Thank you so much. Radiant Life just says cave. What does that mean? Make a cave in my shrine? No, I'm saving that for Aphrodite. She gets a grotto. All right, so here's, these are all the doodads. Who should I do next month, you guys? I'm going to bring back the actual altar, I um, mean the shrine uh, pieces. Okay, that's my wide angle view. <laughs> Got my heat gun, I mean, sorry, my glue gun. While the glue gun is heating up, I want to show you, um, not sponsored, just want to show you the cool um, Samhain palette that um, Scarlet Nymph put together. I, I wanted to, Bren, I wanted to do a crossroads in some way in the box, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. I also wanted to somehow put torches, but I couldn't figure that one out either. <laughs> I had a lot of, a lot of hopes and dreams. So just real quick, I wanted to show you the, um, the Scarlet Thumb palette for Samhain. This is glow in the dark, so well, there's no way I can show it to you, but this green glows, I mean this yellow glows in the dark, so you could paint like the inside of a pumpkin and it would look like a candle uh, is showing through in a pumpkin. We have our orange for the pumpkins and our gold, and then we have this heavy glitter gold and heavy glitter purple. It's like chunky glitter. dipped into them so they
and kind of get a sense of these glitters a little bit better. And this is the Samhain one, and this is the uh, glow in the dark. I can just uh, zip past in this stream, so yeah, just call out. So anyway, here is the name of the shop on Etsy, Scarlet Nymph, if you want to get the Samhain um, palette. Somebody just said too loud, and then the very next comment says too low. And now somebody says perfect. So I feel like we have the, the Goldilocks and the three bears. Okay. Cool. I want to get this lighting inside the box before I put the piece of paper in that has the image. That way it's sticking out. So I'm just gonna stick it through. Don't worry about the music. Yeah, I know, but it was blasting. I have a section of my music I need to look at um, before the next stream happens. Because there's obviously at the end of the playlist, it blasts. Which is fine. It's great. That's good to know. I put together this playlist because um, I was concerned about copyright issues. So it's all from YouTube audio library. Copyright free stuff. So the loud fox says brand new to your channel and already done several crafts thank you so much i, I love to hear i love to hear that somebody did a craft because they saw me do it or even that i just inspired them to pick up watercolors again or to put together a wreath or just anything I just got them thinking about like oh i'd like to do something that has that theme it doesn't even have to be the the same exact thing. Yeah, I was standing up, so the uh, microphone was way too far away from me. I was talking about the paint. Yeah. Okay. Work with me here. This is the stuff I cut out in my YouTube videos when I edit. It's all these weird little hiccups and... Okay, got our lights in. Ooh, Princess, it's uh, AS Glam, I'm sorry. It's as glam. Princess is what I'm going to call you. Thank you for purchasing the books on Amazon. I'm just going to use some hot glue to get to keep this wire from having any issues. You're always working with me. It's nice to have the company. Yay. We have a fox working with me and a monkey. Make sure I do this right. I want to make sure I can change out the batteries. So which way? Yeah, so I need to have it like this so I can change out the batteries so I can lift this up. Always thinking. Yeah. <laughs> 
I also made an ocean theme box and jewelry box inspired. Yay! I see things on Pinterest and I download the picture and I put it in a folder called Ideas. And, and that's usually where ideas go to die, but I sometimes look in there and I go, oh yeah, I wanted to do all the stuff with shells. But mine didn't come out anywhere close to the picture on Pinterest. You buried your corn dolly in the garden. That's awesome. That's my favorite part of that tradition. Okay, let's see if she fits. Oh, she fits. Okay, good. Now you can hot glue, you can decoupage, you can do a glue stick. I'm going to actually use a... Um, one of those tape runners because I, I don't want to wait for my glue to dry on stream. So we're just going to use a, um, a tape runner. Like Let's get a nice close-up shot. She looks like a haunted wraith. It's perfect for the season. I'm going to put a lot um, of glue on this. So I don't want it to come up. This is not a temporary thing. This is a shrine. Okay. That's a lot. I don't know who the artist is, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna have to cut the corner here, just because that's where the cord for the lights is coming out, so. There we go. This tape does not have to dry. That's why I used it because I wanted to have something fast for str on stream because we were watching a lot of tape dry or um, glue dry on the last stream and I, last shrine. Okay, this is what we've got so far, you guys. Oh, I'm loving it. It already looks cool. Now we're gonna paint our doggos gray. Or actually, you know what? Yeah, I think we should because they, they need to have time to dry. Paint these little guys. that um, I had about 17 tables over here and that I had some kind of conveyor belt system. There's some white. Everybody and their brother was commenting on why didn't I tell people to put black cat hair or whiskers in the oil when in my recipe. And my answer is, yes, traditionally that's a, an ingredient that you would put in the oil. But my answer is, stupid people are going to do stupid things 
and I don't trust the internet. So I didn't want to say anything like that on my on my video. But yes, that is a traditional ingredient in the black cat oil. I just omitted that from my my recipe. Sorry, I just don't trust. And I was really surprised at how many views I got on that video. It was like three times more than I usually get. So, I can't trust that everybody who's watching is going to make good decisions. And I've had people ask me all sorts of questions. They really... People are concerned about such minutia and tiny details about every um, everything in magic. They don't want to think independently. <laughs> they want an exact everything. So I was just concerned. Good timing with Halloween around the corner. I did think of that. I did make sure that that was the 12th. That was the 12th video in my 12 video series and it ended in October. And so I decided to go with the black cat oil on in October when I was planning them out. You know, there's two dogs in the picture. So if you don't want to paint a bunch of, uh, plastic toys you can you don't have to have these <laughs> this portion and I think I'm gonna leave this guy brown we're just gonna make this guy a brindle he doesn't have to be perfectly gray shed and given to you cat by your cat as a present yeah I find whiskers all over my house because my cat is crazy she has bees in her head and she jumps around like a, a rabbit There we go. Oh, no focus. Sorry about the, uh, did I just get gray paint on this guy? I did. Okay, that's a sign. We'll dry brush him gray, gray over the brown. Did I mix up enough paint or what? <laughs> so much paint for such a small situation here. trust people either. Yeah, take her in for the night. Take that kitty in your house for the night. I'm sure your neighbor would be happy. Okay, let's call that good. We got our little gray puppers. I'm pretty sure the wolf is not going to be the one I choose. I'm, I want to choose two out of the three, and I'm pretty sure the wolf... looks like a wolf. Well, that could be a German Shepherd, I guess. I 
a black snowflake. I worried the Fire Nation was about to attack. So you found the image. Victoria Francis. That's great. Okay, I will, um, let me write that down right now so I will be able to um, credit her in the down bar of the video. Taking the puppers away and bringing this shrine back. So here's kind of what I'm thinking. Putting these these guys in here to kind of create No, I guess should actually. Let's let's be honest. I need to do the lights first. And then put in Put some moss in there first as the ground. I hate to have to run and get another item, but what do you think? Would a moss moss on the ground be worthy of me getting up and getting another item? I'll be right back. Insane love for moss. Moss. Everybody wanted moss, so I'm I'm sorry for the dead air on my on my stream, but I think it's worth it. This is good because um, one of the colors I'm using on the outside of the shrine will be this green that will match it quite perfectly. Okay, I'm going to try and get it to where it has a good view for you guys. This will work. I have a book stand. Oh my gosh, it works. Now if we could just get a focus here. Camera. Camera. God is blessed. Make it happen. Bring it down. 
focus here. Me and this camera, I swear to God. Apologies if you can hear my neighbors. Uh, my office is not very soundproof. Let me turn on these lights so you can see what I'm doing. That's a better view, I think. I just did a manual focus for this portion because we're going to be looking at this for a long time. And then we'll have to go back to auto focus that. All right. The music this time will cover up the neighbors. I hope so. Plus I have a directional mic and it's pointed right up my mouth so I'm hoping all the side sounds won't. I wish there wasn't so much wire. I wish there were more lights and less wire. But we'll make do. We have a bunch of lights in there. Now we need to get the moss in there. And that was lost to time, not recorded. Won't be in there. Video edit. I don't know how you craft with such beautiful long nails. I get, guess you get used to it. Well, I'll tell you what, my typing goes to hell whenever I get these puppies on. And it takes me a couple of days to get back in the brain of having nails. Morris Goddess help, of course. Air moss, you mean like air plants? Yeah, I just had these nails off for two weeks, so they just went on today. I do it for you guys.
Look how cool this looks, you guys. What? I love it when we just think of a thing and we're just doing it and it wasn't planned. And it comes out cool. I feel like the frame is going to cover some of this up, so these lights kind of need to be a little poking up. Because the, otherwise the frame will cover them. What do you guys think? Maybe just one dog? webs. So far, so good. I'm gonna put it back on autofocus and hope for the best because I need to put it down flat again. There we go. So we've got two sticks in there so far. Maybe just one dog. These lights are a fun addition, but they're also kind of trouble. They add a layer of complexity, let's just say that. off at the end because it's a losing battle. Oh, it's starting to get there. The box is, is linked uh, linked below in the down bar. And um, the image, I am going to have to go back up through chat. I forgot the name of the artist already, but I do want to write that down. Uh, 
somebody did discover the artist's name. It's even better if you can find a little a little bit of the, the stick and stick it to the wall with a little drop of glue like I did there. any of the scene. That's my concern.
I don't know, you guys, I kind of want both of these things. How can I make this happen from where? I... Nah. I like the arch. I mean, have you seen some of the headdresses on some of the Hakate statues? That is where the artists have gone bonkers. Oh, that's right. It's the light thing under behind it. Okay. I dig this because I really want to put the keys. This is the fun part, but it's also probably a little bit um, frustrating to watch. I don't know if you guys find it frustrating or interesting. Somebody said put the key on the top. Hmm. Trying to craft around a microphone, pardon me. The keys could also all be hung. Could hang the keys one, two, three, four across the top. No bronze bits, it'll be too busy. Problem radiant life is when you say, I like that. It's past. I have a 10 second delay, so I don't know what it was. What do you guys think about the. Um, keys hanging. The key forest. The keys growing upwards. Four keys along the bottom. Just go back to the, the better music that's quieter. Oh my goodness, there's too many options. I'm losing my mind here. I'm going to have to just commit with something. So I'm going to agree that these are too, too busy. I wanted some elements that actually got painted. 
with some green color. Maybe it stays all brown. Could one of the keyholes go on the center of the triangle piece? Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Melon Lord, I bow to you. So now is it up? Oh, it's up, it's up, it's a tiara. It's the Hecate headdress. We're committing to that. We have one idea we're committing to. We may not have this worked out, but we've worked out one thing. I don't like my keys. You know what? I have better, I think I have better keys. Larger keys. Let me go see if I have larger key charms. BRB. I guess we don't need this on here because we're not painting anything anymore at the moment. Oh, somebody said dangle the snake from the stick. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Where's her sacred frog at? Still at the store, son. I did not have time to get every... I would have put torches in if... Let's just say I had a round of stores today trying to find dogs. I gave up. Let's just glue this darn thing on at least. Now I just forgot the, oh, the snake hanging from the branch. Cool, that's a cool idea. I just wanna make, I didn't see that original comment. So whoever's comment that was, credit to you. glue these around the edges.
the glue st uh, strings are pretty. Oops, there went a key. Let's put this guy up here. We know we want this. For sure. Oh, I'm out of glue with my glue gun. There we go. Put a new one in. I think, do we like these, this one, or the heart? The gothic? Wish we could do a crisscross, but unfortunately, it wouldn't lie flat. Facing in, I think it might be the better choice. Gothic key suit her. Gothic, gothic. We got, uh, I like the crisscross. Well, I would like the crisscross too, but I have a problem with, like, I don't, I can't glue the, the top one down because it won't touch anything, except it'll only touch right there. I could, tr I could try to, I could try to, I really like this. I know, I really like it. It's like, it's going crossbones. <laughs> it's a little piratey. I dig this. I really want it. Let's figure it out. We're going to do it. Yeah, they're both the same. She wants it. Unfortunately, I'm in my studio as opposed to my house, so don't, I can't, I don't have all the things. Eh, see, ah, gosh darn it. This is gonna be hard to glue metal to wood. Gosh darn it. It's not going to do it. I want it to be crisscrossed. So what if I cut one of these keys? But the problem is, is then there's nothing to glue the second part to. Because once it's cut, uh, then it's hanging in midair. some copper wire and wire it together. Make the keys hang from the copper wire. Just have them hanging in there. Just do this. Yeah, my cut one key in half idea, I had that idea too, but it doesn't actually work with physics. Wire wrap. I don't want it to look janky. Everybody's selling, saying wire wrap, but they don't have to do the wire wrapping, do they? I don't want it to look bad. Cut it in half and glue it to the other key, and you're gluing metal to metal, and then it just falls right off. Mm. Mm. 
I'm already concerned that this wire doesn't look that great. Boy, I wish I'd figured this out before I started. Can we glue this snake to this tree? Let's just get, let's get that done. Cause we know we have that as a thing. This is why my YouTube videos are only 10 minutes. Cause all of this thought process is edited out. a snake in a tree that's a thing that happened we have a key, we have a key on the top keyhole on the top and we have a snake in a tree I feel like we have we're getting there Just the one keyhole, or do we keep adding? This process is fun with the live. Oh, I wish I could solder the keys together. That would be great. I do have some green paint here and I was wondering oh man you know what I really wish I could do torches right here what if I painted torches I think that's the answer, is to paint some torches right here. And then we just have a very symmetrical looking thing to finish it off. With torches painted here. I feel like watching you live is breaking the gaslighting in my head that says when I craft is chaos. <laughs> Let's try to paint them. It's worth it, right? It's 544. Jeez, it's been two hours, but we can do it in 15 minutes. We can do it. Everybody's like, yes, worth it. Jill, that would be a great idea. Now I have to go up and find out what Jill I Jill's idea was. It was gone. Is it gone? It scrolled up too far. Oh, I was going to suggest Dremeling, but it's a little too calm. Yeah, pulling out a Dremel, uh, which I don't have in the studio, actually. Or do I? No. So I had this idea that I was going to put torches. And I thought what I could do is take one of those fake tea lights and I could just take it apart and then like we could have a little flicker flames. Sorry about the music, you guys. So this is what I got. I got I got the tea lights and I and I took them apart. I took one apart. But the battery
But I don't know how to no, no, no. put it, make it be a thing. And then with the battery so giant and this whole plastic casing, and I abandoned that idea. I would love to do 3D with clay, but I mean, we're gonna have to paint it on today because I think the 3D would be something that would happen later on off stream because it's too, the air dry clay takes too long. Let me just look up a picture of a torch so I can draw one. gonna be sisters and they're not gonna be twins but let's try I'm so left-handed I try to do something on the right and it just looks like a child Oh, let me grab those. You guys would not even believe what this studio looks like. Everything that I'm not using has just gone like on the floor. Okay, so these are uh, chalk paint pens. Starting with kind of a, I don't know, mustardy yellow, and then a bright yellow. Perfections definitely make it beautiful for sure. We're gonna go with some orangey. Yeah, 
If I waited for everything to be perfect, I would never put a single video out. This paint pen is a little bit dry. shaky a shaker to them. All right, we have our flames. pens do come in a metallic like a gold never used them before that's why they this one I've used the keys a bit more. Everybody was waiting for the flames. This is shiny, nice and shiny. I might actually put a little bit more chalk paint over it.
So now the question is, do we keep these keys? Or do we just keep the bottom keys? Now I know Hakate is calling to me. Everything I randomly click on is about her. Did you randomly click, click on this stream? Radiant Life, do you think they should be like this? Diagonal? Or do you think they should be... I think diagonal. corner keys do you think this looks too simple though should I put corner elements on Straight, I like diagonal. Oh no! Comment war! Finally, my channel has some drama. That was a joke. I'm doing these corner things. I just stuck them down and then, then that was a thing I did. And now that's on there. I could always take them off if they're too too much. All right, that's the answer right there. And then the other question is, do we think the lights look good around the edges or do we think that's too janky to do, to do lights around the edges? Well, I mean, this isn't a very good example, but it would be a couple of, maybe in the background more. We have this much lights to do something with. Or I think I can just cut the cord and, and not <sighs> almost drank the paint water. <laughs> You'd have big glitter inside and out. These corner pieces seem unrelated because they're not bronze, they're copper. But guess what I have? I have bronze paint. You're so invested in these corner elements. I already stuck them down, man. All right. right up okay come on you know you want to stick I wonder if super glue would be better than hot glue it 
It's hot glue for the stream, but I might actually take them off and do super glue as a final off stream treatment. to kind of give it that uh, feeling of 3D. <laughs> of the copper and see if I can incorporate make it look a little bit more incorporated okay we actually have torches done I'm gonna call those done This um, paint is called um, polished, or sorry, brushed metal. Comes in every different color of metal. I'm gonna clear some of this space off. those D&D terrain videos because I play D&D and I've made a bunch of terrain and that's why I, I pulled the, the tea light and I started to pull it apart because I know that I've seen a lot of videos where they where they take tea lights and they turn them into campfires and I always thought that was a cool idea Unfortunately, it just didn't work as a torch because of the, the giant battery. Mm -hmm. 
Now I think that these corner pieces are going to take more than one coat of this paint. They still look kind of coppery, but I promise you they will get integrated. So the, the final question is, then what do I do with the rest of the lights? Do I just clip? Or do I try to deal with them? I love the little community that we have. Smash the lights into the moss. Put the lights like fireflies or stars. Have the lights consecrated near the top like stars. Mm, I see a theme. I wish there was less copper wire and more lights. I know I already complained about that once. Lori, welcome. I have a mess. You guys, it's a mess. What do we think? I'm, I'm, I'm right on the edge of just clipping it. It's a mess. Wrap the lights around the trees. The problem is, is there's 500 miles of copper for every one light. See, there's a light and there's a light and there's all this copper. So like by the time you've wired around one tree, you've got one light. Oh my goodness, look at my hands. I look like I played in the mud. You guys, I'm gonna clip it. You knew it, you knew it was coming or smash it in here to the bottom. The copper wire matches the corners that I just painted bronze. Yep, it's getting clipped. I've lost my I've lost my will to uh, not clip it. Oh no! If I clip it, all of it goes out. Did you see that? We lose all of our lights. Ah, okay. So, we can't do that. So the answer is, add one more tree. Oh no, I hope I didn't screw these lights up forever then. Okay. Oh no, did I, oh no, okay, I can cut them and then not lose all the lights. Because I did cut it. I just thought I was going to lose all of it. Okay, it's cut. Why are you not cut? What would it look like if I turned off the lights? It was a roller coaster. It's like, is it stars? Is it wrapped around a tree? Is it cut off? I don't know. So you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I can just set it. Because it's so deep, I can just set it as a frame. I don't know if that's very obvious. Or I could mount it to a, a wall. Or set it against a wall, but it will actually sit up on its own. I think that's really fun.
So aside from a few things like making sure that these get bronzed up, two keys at the top, I don't know you guys. I feel like they touch the fire. And it's weird that they touch the flames. If I had drawn, if I had drawn these torches a little lower. Darn it. What do you guys think? Keys at the top or no? Yes, do the keys. I'm waiting for Radiant's answer. I need to know. What if the keys stuck up a little bit so they were a little further away? No, that's weird. Burn those keys. <laughs> yeah, a little too much. It's too crowded at the top. We want to give it some air. These are chunky boys and they're all different metals. Yeah, the weight should be at the bottom. I'm just saying my audience is invested in keys. Looks good. That's good without. Yeah, it's good. Good without, I agree. Now, what will it look like when the lights turn low? That's not low, that's. guys come on come on that is so cool look at her and the moon above and the snake in the tree and the torches and the whole oh, magical crafting amazing I'm going to turn the lights back on now because my camera hates trying to deal with uh, a low light situation. Take one key and put it under the arch. Under the arch. Somebody said. Nah. This is so great, you guys. Ugh. You know what? And I feel like if I dry brush this with a little bit of bronze or put a little bit of stain in there to, to bring out some of the darker details. dry brushing would be one more second sorry guys I know you thought we were in there so that is putting bronze on on the paintbrush and then wiping it off on the paper And the 
and just, you know what, I like these, uh, like, more floof, floofy. Stacy JC, I just did it. <laughs> just what you said. Great minds think like. I don't know where this line came from. Is that glue? Hmm. Maybe we'll never know. Don't get me started with this bronze highlighting. Does the dog need a highlight? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> people. This is the kind of project that can get totally out of hand. Whoa! There is not an even smaller key. There is one. Yes. That is the smallest key. But does this key... These keys don't balance very well. Like, what part of this is going to glue down? Ugh. Needs to be hot glue. Sorry. Because it, it needs to sit on a bed of glue. That's the smallest key I have. So yes, you're yelling as loud as you can. I can hear you. It's fine, we'll do this one. This is the smallest one. Just waiting for this to happen now. Because I had turned it off and so it's cold. Give it a moment. I would have used this, but um, there's not enough surface of the key actually touching, so. Not enough of the key actually touching the surface is what I meant to say. No, I'm not gonna hang anything. Too much margin for error. But there have been a lot of suggestions for hanging stuff today, so maybe that's Something I should design into one of my shrines is just having a bunch of hanging things. 
you know, like pre-design and pre-drill holes for wire and stuff like that. So, you know, it's not just floundering around trying to figure it out, but actually just, um, no. Just waiting for this to heat up, baby. See if it's, it's doing it. Good deal. Oh, did the music get loud again? I'm sorry. And so many things. I spent all day prepping for this stream, thinking I had... <sighs> metal is so hard to stick to wood thinking I had everything I could possibly need and then I've had to get up like 17 times. Sorry about the dead air occasionally, you guys. I don't I don't feel super professional when that's happening, but <laughs> I think we have a final reveal, right? Are we at final final? We're bronzed out. We're keyed up. We're good to go. This is our final reveal. Now the super glue, there wasn't enough of the key to touch the surface that it was gonna be glued to. So it needed to lay in kind of a bed of glue. Yeah, I was trying not to plan too ahead. I didn't want to have every step planned out so I could work together with you guys and go, well, should we do this? Should we do that? But I also have to have most of it planned out or else it's so chaotic and I'm just stepping away so much. Oh yeah, that's a great idea to make the keyhole black. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry about the music ups and downs. Uh, when I put up the thanks for watching video, I will be staying in chat for a minute to see your comments as they come through and, and verbally talk. So um, I don't actually go right away. But I would like to thank you for joining me and whoa, and I will see you in two weeks for another witchy art witch Wednesday. Two weeks from now, four o'clock Pacific time.